Hi guys, TJ here from DinoJet. What's new today? It's a big day for DinoJet. You may remember back in January, we released the InVision module for the Polaris and Indian type vehicles, which have the MG1 type ECU. This ECU presents a little bit of extra security hurdle for us to actually just get channels. That InVision device was just meant for monitoring. Well, today we present the actual PowerVision 3 that can flash these ECUs over diagnostic without the need to remove the ECU from the vehicle every time. So, I just threw a whole lot of words at you. Let's slow it down and what does this mean for you as a consumer? One time, you'll need to remove your ECU out of your motorcycle or your UTV. Send it to us or one of our valued network of DinoJet D-Flash dealers where we will unlock your ECU for you. And at that time, we can either insert a tune that is about for your modifications or we can just unlock it and that's it. Then, enter the PowerVision 3. Now, you can flash any number of tunes over and over, throw this ECU back in your, under your seat or behind the firewall and flash as much as you want. No longer will this need to come out of the vehicle every time. So why choose DinoJet over all the other guys? DinoJet's the only company that we make our own dynamometers, our own software, our own tuning devices, and we immerse them together with DinoJet PowerCore software. So each of the tunes that we build or our vast network of tuning dealers build, you can be guaranteed that they are putting just as much effort as we do into making our tunes validated, precise, and what you need to make your ride the ultimate ride. DinoJet PowerCore links our tuning software, links our data center, links our whole DinoJet ecosystem together so that we can watch cell tracing. We can hit those minute areas within your VE tables, your Spark Advanced tables, to make sure that our tune that we build for you is exactly for your desired modifications. So, now that all that marketing mumbo jumbo's out of the way, what are you actually gonna do? Well, first things first, you're gonna remove the ECU from your vehicle, send it to us or one of our qualified network of D-Flash dealers. On this Polaris XP1000, it's located behind the seat. Right behind this rear panel. It's a quick quarter turn fasteners. ECU screwed to the firewall. There's two ECU connectors that you pop off. And out it comes, simple as that. If you have an Indian motorcycle, feel free to watch our other video on how to remove that ECU from the bike and then send it to us or again, one of our qualified network of D-Flash dealers. Once you get your ECU installed back in your vehicle, you're gonna take your PowerVision 3 and you can flash the DinoJet tune file. So this DinoJet tune file could have been attained from DinoJet or from one of our participating dealers or you could have made your own tune by attending DinoJet University. It's a great help to get your feet wet on how to tune these type of vehicles. So PowerVision 3 installs right through the diagnostic port then. You can mount it on your bars if you'd like. Jump in, turn the bike on, hit the flash tune menu for your desired tune file. In this case, we have a high flow exhaust and a high flow intake here. Hit the flash button. You're now flashing over diagnostic right with the PowerVision 3. So what if you already have a PowerVision 3 that you've used on another vehicle? Well, every PowerVision 3 can flash as many vehicles as you want through our DinoJet flash license service. So just buy another license for your, your Indian motorcycle right here with this MG1 ECU. PowerVision 3, flash as many vehicles as you want. Now, the PV3, to be able to flash the MG1, it does need a new firmware file and a feature license, which are available on DinoJet.com to enable this flashing over diagnostic. Thanks for joining us for this exciting DinoJet product announcement. Check out DinoJet.com for more information, or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and we'll get to answering those. And until then, stay tuned.